Police officers shot and wounded an unarmed black man this week. At his side, a 23-year-old autistic man. The cop fired three times. The officer meant to hit the autistic man, believing he was a threat. Stop walking away from me. The officer mistook okay, Connor's okay. mannerisms for drug-related behavior. He has autism. He doesn't know what's going on. Autistic. If the officer understood, none of this would have likely happened. My name is Dennis DeBot. I'm a former private investigator, and I'm the proud parent of a young man who has autism. Put two blocks on your finger, and I'll give you a life saver. When we first learned our son had autism, we were angry. We questioned ourselves. Did we cause it? We grieved for what we thought we had lost, but we also vowed to help him out in every way we could. Let him know that Brad is OK. It's not a bad thing. It's different. We're all different. But we're here to help you through it, and we'll never stop. I took Brad to the mall one day. He wanted a $300 drivable car, and I suggested a 98-cent matchbox. That was not good enough for him. He was rolling on the floor, screaming, crying, kicking. Everyone was looking at us. I picked him up and took him out of there so we could go home. We were now confronted by the police. They got between me and my son and started asking my son, who is that, pointing at me. They said people were calling 911 and reporting a possible child abduction. I showed them my detective agency ID. I said, that's my son, he has autism, and they're still quizzing him about uh, who I was. I was pissed, man. It, it enraged me, but once I got through that, it was like, it wasn't their fault. Police respond well when they have more information. Over the past 25 years, I've developed training materials for police, public safety, and criminal justice professionals. What am I observing here? Is it someone about to commit a crime? It could be that you're looking at the behaviors of somebody with autism. Are you feeling a little bit nervous right now? It's OK. It's OK. Highest risk contacts for police will be when the child or adult wanders into danger. They see you, you see them, and say, OK, I can see you're upset. I'm not here to harm you. In all the years I've been doing autism training, I've met some of the most terrific people in law enforcement. And they tell me that they do the best when they know that they need to do things different. This work is helping save lives. It's helping to improve lives. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else.